So you're now ready to put your lights on your dog. You've already kind of done your assessments, you figured out what's going on and you're gonna start light red lighting. So the first thing you need to think about doing is that we ask that you always introduce lights to your dogs. So that way you can know what your reactions are going to be, how the dog is going to react and what kind of, uh, how long you're gonna attention span your dog may have. So as you can tell with dogs, it's a little different than the larger animals is that they need to be in an environment that is very comfortable for them. In this case, he seems pretty comfortable. He's on his back, laying backwards. And they have to be not have a lot of stimulus environment that's going around them. So having all his doggy friends here, they're all jumping on your lap or a bunch of people going by or a lot of commotion going on or squirrels going by it was not the ideal time to start your red lighting. We tend to like to red light animals like these a lot towards the evening because they pretty much have burned up a lot of their energy and it's a little easier to do. So in the case with Henry here, where he is a terrier, so he does have a lot of penned up energy and when he goes on his backside, he seems to be quiet. So this is the way he likes to sit and, and we're gonna go for that because that's what he wants. So putting them in their environment so they're happy and they're willing to have you work with them is the number one factor. So the next step we want to do is we want to look at introducing the light to them first. Um, if you have different types of lights of ours or any other light, I like to start with the lowest power light that you have or the lowest, most least invasive light that you have. So I'm a, in that case, I'm gonna start with my, my standard light. I'm gonna turn it on and just let him find the light and maybe just put it on a couple places. And if that was too much, we can use the pulse feature and just pulse it on and see what they think. And just put it on different areas like a paw and see if they have a problem. If you're using some of the other lights, in case of our multi-light, I'll put it on and just see how strong that is. You notice that he kind of turn, pulls away from that much extra power. So I might think that I'm gonna have to work maybe an inch or two off of the um, <clears throat> dog itself. Cause if I get too tight, it might be too much energy for them. Or I might have to, in this light, I can turn down to like a green and work with a green instead of a red. So the little things we wanna introduce. And if you're working with the Pro Gen 2, which has more power, start out with it on low. Make sure that they're okay with that. And he's a little bit standoffish, so I might hold off when I'm doing the points with him on that as well and not even think about going to high. I might try the frequency and see if the, how he feels about that. And he actually kind of likes that. He's not turning away from his, notice his head's not moving, he's actually starting to yawn. So now I find what he actually likes me to use. So trying your different lights out on him first before you just go ahead and get started is a really good thing to do.